What's up my friends, Coach Jan here at CrossFit Liberate. Today is Wednesday, September 16th. I've got another at-home workout for you. So this one's called Clean and Press. We have a large number of reps of some odd object weightlifting for you today. So weight selection is gonna be really important. We wanna make sure that we choose a weight that allows us to thrive throughout these big sets. And then our total score for this one, we're looking for somewhere between 10 and 16 minutes. All right, let's take a look at our warm up for clean and press. So here we're gonna go 30 seconds each, starting with our active Samson stretch. Then we'll go into our active Spider-Man stretch. Next, we have alternating bird dogs, really trying to keep our upper body nice and still here. Then we'll go 30 seconds of down dog. We'll grab that odd object and hit good mornings. Really trying to set the knee bend and then just push the hips straight back and back up through. Going to odd object Romanian deadlifts. So just like that good morning, but this time with the object at the hang position. Then we'll go to the floor for push-ups to down dog. Back to that odd object for strict press and reach. Really trying to get your head through the window and that object back behind the ears. And then finally, 30 seconds of odd object deadlifts. For our mobility work, we're gonna go 45 seconds of a straddle stretch. Here, we're gonna get the feet as wide apart as possible and then aim to get the chest and belly button further forward, closer to the floor. And then we'll hit 45 seconds of warrior squats, which is a great opener for that upper back. All right, let's take a close look at clean and press. So we have four time, 30, 20, 10, 20, 30 of odd object power cleans and odd object push press. So today's workout focuses on odd object weightlifting across a high rep count. Over the five rounds today, we'll complete 220 total reps on the odd object. For this reason, choosing the correct weight is important. The most challenging movements will likely be the push press, and we'll wanna pick a load for this workout that allows you to complete 30 plus reps of these unbroken when fresh. The intended time range for this workout is between 10 and 16 minutes. With your odd object power cleans, the object makes contact on the ground inside of the feet for this movement. Ideally, we're clearing this station in one to two quick sets. For the odd object push press, clean the weight up to front rack to begin each set. There is no rebend of the knees after driving the object overhead. And then as always, further movement subs and modifications are in the video description below. All right, let's take a close look at our movements here, starting with our odd object power clean. Here we wanna think about the knees. When we're cycling power cleans, we can think about what the knees are doing, specifically as the object is coming back to the ground. Here, let's be sure to push the knees back so that there is an easy path down to the floor. When done correctly, the shin is relatively vertical, which allows for ground contact over the loops of the laces. When the knees push too far forward, it can lead to a loopy path of the object to the front rack. On your odd object push presses, let's consider a quarter squat. As opposed to the power clean here, we're looking for knees forward and hips directly under the shoulders in our dip and drive. From a standing position, we'll dip down about four to six inches with an upright torso, hips down, knees slightly out, and heels down. Drive the legs hard and follow through with fast arms to the overhead position. All right, so some strategy advice for clean and press. So if this were a typical 30, 20, 10 descending ladder of reps, we would look to start smart on the 30s, survive on the 20s, and then really sprint the 10s. But because today we climb that ladder after that set of 10, that strategy won't be as effective. So instead, let's consider using the set of 10 in the middle there as sort of an active break between the bigger sets, um, as sort of a launch point for the second half of that workout. And then with these bigger sets, don't be afraid to break it up into small sets like sets of 10 or something like that. And then just make sure that your rest between those sets of 10 is nice and short. 
you'll still make great progress on this. All right, y'all, make sure you get after this thing. As always with CrossFit, we wanna bring a lot of intensity to our work. That's where the results lie here. And then make sure that you're tracking your results somewhere, whether it's a notebook or an app like SugarWad. We wanna be tracking our progress. That's how we know we're getting fitter. And then finally, if you're planning on coming back to the gym in real life, cannot wait to coach you in person.